Hi, I'm Lee Owen, and I've built a mod to my Roland pedal. This was a Roland FC100. It came with a Roland guitar synth, and it was not MIDI compatible, and it really was useless to me at this point because that synth's outdated. And I now use a wireless synth with an iPad, but the problem is anytime I wanted to change a sound, I had to reach up and touch the iPad, and that just didn't work for me because your hands are full, and that's what the foot pedals are for. So, let me plug in my controller there. Um, what I did, and I'll turn it off and restart the whole thing so that it lights up. It does a little lighting sequence for me. And now it's up and it's controlling guitar side. This group over here is guitar or MIDI side. On the guitar side, I've got six effects that I primarily use, and this turns them on. Um, seven is empty, not doing anything. Eight is my tuner, and by turning on the tuner, it clears everything else out so I can just have the tuner without the coloring of other effects. Um, I have a B button that was one of the extras, and I programmed it to be two distortions and a delay pedal. Um, and then C is a clear, because when you're done with all that, you want to, uh, you know, clear them all out at once without having to stomp on three buttons. So I hit clear. If I go to the MIDI side, this is what's cool. I've put an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip in there, and it will then let me connect to my iPad. So we boot up the iPad here. If I go look in my Wi-Fi settings, I'm connected to Lee Owen MIDI. So while I'm doing that, you see over here this light on the back of the thing is red. And if I come over here and I launch a synth app, this light, when it connects to the synth, this light here will go green, telling me I am connected to the synth. And now I can use these buttons in MIDI mode. In my sound one, I keep is off. Sound two is a flute. And you can see as I go across, the iPad changes with whatever sound I've got. Um, my bank button in this case will take me to the next eight sounds. So I was on one through eight, I can go to the second bank and then get one through eight. As you move through these other banks or any bank, you'll see that I'm in bank two. So it's flashing as I pick the different sounds in bank two. And it sort of reminds me of where I was. If I was in bank eight, way up high in the numbers, and I'm going through the various sounds, you see the eight up there is flashing is I still can just move across and scroll through sounds. There's none up there, so they actually didn't change for you. If I go back down to a lower bank where I have sounds, you see it is still changing the sounds. Um, the clear button at this point, if I was in bank three or something clear, in this case will take me back to my initial bank one sound one, which is off. So I hit that, the light goes over here, and I'm back it off. The other thing cool about it is I plugged in a, an expression controller into the back, and I do a read on this and translate it to MIDI volume. So if I run the trumpet sound and get my foot on the pedal over here and I play the trumpet, full volume, roll it back. So I have a volume pedal to control the MIDI too. So at any time I can turn it off by turning off the volume or I can turn it off by going number one here, boom, and it's back to off. And that's sort of an overview. The only other real feature is that if I was on, let's say, two or three sounds on the guitar side, I go over to the synth sound, I go to sound five, I go to sound three, wherever I want to be, I can always go back to the guitar side and see what I had on over there, or back to the synth side and I'm still on sound three. Um, again, clear will clear me here, and back on the guitar side, those are still on, but clear will turn them all off. Pretty cool. I'm proud.